Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Park. I might be a little crooked. I am videotaping myself from my back deck right now. And I'm getting ready to do the desertification lab, so we'll see how this works out because I'm going to be doing the lab and videoing it at the same time. Uh, so we'll see. Instead of clay, I'm using Play-Doh because I don't think that makes a big difference. I've got my 50 pound bag of sand. I have my oil. I've got my pans. If you can see right here, I've got some pans set up. What the lab is asking to have um, constant, things that need to be uh, the same for each try. The height of each dune has to be about three centimeters. So we're going to check out our dune here and I'm going to put it all the way at the top. And you, I don't know if you can see that, but well, I just I messed, moved the sand, but we had measured it at um, three centimeters, so we'll fix that before we get started. And then the distance from the buildings to the dune should be about 14 centimeters, and we had measured that at 14 centimeters, okay? And then the final um, thing is that the distance from the city to the barrier, which this first one we're going to do has no barrier, should be 8 centimeters. So we're about to get started. I have my assistant, my son Randy. Hi. And he is going to actually do the hair dryer while, not yet, while I video. So we are going to come back in just a second and do this. I'm just going to fix this dune real quick. All right, we're about to get started. And just so you know, I did actually have to move my mound up because as I was saying that, I realized that I wasn't actually 14 centimeters away. I'm going to hold this aluminum foil back so we catch all the sand because we're going to have to measure that. And Randy is going to hold it, the hair dryer level with the buildings, and he's going to get started. So you can turn that on. Okay, so we blew the sand with uh, the control um, sample, which had no barriers, and as you'll see here, we it blew um, 100 milliliters of sand. Okay, so here's my town with the short vegetation. These are pipe cleaners that are measured that measure three inches high. You can see they're about the same height as the building. It looks like a couple of them might be a little bit taller. Um, again, I need to make sure of a few things. I need to make sure that my vegetation is eight centimeters from my town, which it is. I need to make sure that my town is 10 centimeters from the back, which it is. I need to make sure that my dune is 14 centimeters from my town, which it is. I need to make sure that my dune, now this might be a little high, so I might have to lower this. Now actually it's exactly three centimeters. I needed to make sure that my dune is three centimeters as well. Now I'm not going to be able to uh, videotape myself doing this because it's, it's only me again. I had to run out and get measuring cups and I lost my assistance I think. So um, we will be right back once this is done. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but with the short vegetation, it measured, I think, a little bit more true to how it was supposed to go as far as the lab is concerned. I got 10 milliliters of, um, of sand that blew, blew on. And, you know, you want to take into consideration some of the other factors here. When I had this short vegetation, I also had to use clay to hold down the vegetation, which would be a barrier. But if you think about it, if you were going to plant vegetation in front of a city, you would also have other barriers that would add to that. So, so that's okay. That's, that's just one of the, but it's something to keep in mind. All right, so now we're going to move on to our tall vegetation and see if that's, if, if that's better. Okay, moving forward, now we're going to video our large or tall vegetation. Now again, same thing. We want to make sure the town is... Sorry, we're going to make sure the town is 10 centimeters from the back, which it is. We want to make sure that the vegetation is 8 centimeters from the town, which it is. We want to make sure that the dune is 14 centimeters from the town, which it is. And I'm going to set that up. So it says, oh, and then we want to make sure that the dune is 3 centimeters, which it was, and I just think I kind of knocked it over. So I will fix that before I start. And then again, I'm going to make sure with each one I've blown the sand for 25 seconds. So we have the first one with no barrier, which um, ended up coming out with 100 milliliters of sand. The second one with short vegetation, which ended up coming out with 10 milliliters of sand. So let's see what the tall vegetation does. Okay, so the tall vegetation um, seemed to blow approximately 15 milliliters of sand. Okay, so it was actually a little bit more than the short vegetation, and I haven't actually looked to see if that's um, consistent with the uh, 
the results from um, the K-12 curriculum, but, but that's what I got. So I'm giving you what I got here. And, um, and, and so we'll talk about that. We'll talk about why that might be or if that might have been an error. Um, but I have 15 milliliters from the tall vegetation. So 100 milliliters from no barrier. 10 milliliters of sand from the short vegetation, 15 milliliters of sand from tall vegetation. So now we'll move on to the, um, the wooden fence. Okay, so now I am going to show you the sand fences. Now I'm a little bit confused actually about this one because I am not quite 8 inches, I'm actually more like 12 inches from the city, but the directions state to put the um, craft sticks in the sand. So that's the only way I can do it and stay, um, so I'm a, I'm a little confused about that. And we'll have to talk about that. Maybe um, some of you who did the lab might have some words of wisdom for me. But right now I'm about to test this method, and um, and we'll see. We'll see. And again, we've got the tenant. The town is 10 inches from the back. The dune is 14 inches, and then this factor is a little bit different. And we'll see if that plays into it at all. Um, and we'll see if that you know if that affects um, our planning here for for building um, a barrier to prevent or to slow down desertification. So, so we'll talk about this a little bit in class, but for now, let's see what happens. Okay. All right, well, I've got my uh, assistants back. So, hi, Mr. Assistant Randy. Hi. Will you hold this, uh, this uh, well, this is should be a graduated cylinder. It's actually a measuring cup. And you can see on this one, I have 10 mil. Uh, actually, it's slightly below... 10 milliliters. So it's actually more like I'd say, hold on, let me look. I'm going to say it's more like 8 milliliters of sand for um, this method, which is um, the, sa or the, the sand fences, the sand fence, or, or the fence, um, which was made out of craft sticks. So 8 milliliters for this method. All right, so we are going to test the oil method. Now I have a can of cooking oil and I'm going to spray a light coat of cooking oil on the sand here. So let me do that now. Oh, let me do that now. A very light, a light coat of oil on the sand. Okay, so there. We've sprayed a light coat of oil onto the sand. We've got this, all of the same factors. 10 inches from the back. The town is 14 inches from the dune. We've got our light uh, spray of oil and we will see what happens. I was corrected. I said inches and I meant centimeters. Thank you. I'm actually going to have Randy videotape this. Okay, so you're videoing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look at this. No sand is blowing off. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, oh, 25, that's right. I got carried away because it was of our results here. So, wow. That was, do you see that? So with the sand, when we sprayed the light oil, um, the light coat of oil over the sand, nothing. We have nothing, no sand went on to into the city. So that's interesting. So um, so like I said, we're not going to do the straw grids. I am going to clean all this up and we will take a look at, uh, we'll talk about this in class, but right now I wanted you guys to be able to actually get, uh, to actually see the lab in place and um, in action, I guess I should say. And um, benefit from that without having to make the mess. So I hope this was helpful for you and this was my first time uh, doing this lab properly so uh, so I hope it was I, I hope it worked out well and like I said I really I haven't even looked at the uh, the OLS teachers guide so I don't know what data I'm supposed to get and how my data is going to compare but we'll talk about that again in class so that's it and I will see you in class oh can you say goodbye Randy bye